Good morning. It's a Saturday morning. We are uh, looking at the snow up in the mountains today. We're looking at some of the rain that we got around the area, which was a lot, especially in Southern California. Uh, this is a live picture up at uh, Alpine, or Palisades Tahoe. Busy day. Blackout day for the Icon Passes. Uh, they got a lot of people up there. It's probably going to be one of the better ski weekends of the year. Palisades told me that they've been blasting for uh, avalanches because avalanche concerns higher than normal because of that ice layer. So they've done a nice job knocking it down. Um, I've got some video here. Billy Hudson, who was an uh, X Games uh, silver medalist, Olympic downhill skier in 1988 in Calgary, director of ski team race uh, stuff at uh, Palisades, was up on the mountain. He, he, I usually talk to him in the morning just because he's a good source for stuff. And he's gave, gave me a little actual report. So we're going to roll this for 30 seconds. Here we go, Billy Hudson. Bill Martin, this is Bill Hudson. Just want to show you how beautiful Palisades Tahoe looks right now after three feet of snow. There's a head wall. Moving over to uh, Immigrant Creek Peak and uh, Granite Chief in the background there. There's the tram. I gotta go, because I'm gonna go ski uh, 75 shoot right now. Love you. see ya. Alrighty, there you have it, right from the horse's mouth, so to speak. Uh, that was Bill Hudson. This is live picture at uh, Palisades in the parking lot. Did you see all the cars? It's a reservation time too, but it's busy. Cameras move and I have no control over this camera. I did like the parking lot shot though, but we lost that and now, now we're looking at the lines. Billy says it's not so busy yet, but they're anticipating a lot of people. Again, huge weekend, holiday weekend, plenty of snow in the mountains. Um, avalanche concerns, I think we're going back to the parking lot. No, we're not. Avalanche concerns, obviously, because of that ice layer from a few weeks ago from that atmospheric river, the warm storm, and then all this snow. So let's take a look at the roads getting up there. This is Soda Springs at the top of the hill, working your way up towards uh, Donner Summit. And it looks pretty good, right? Cloudy up in the mountains. Uh, snow levels were down, got down to at Blue Canyon level, um, but good amount of snow. Like Billy said, uh, three feet of snow. Uh, at the top of uh, Palisades uh, as of this morning. Uh, that's pretty good, a uh, three-foot dump. And I'm, I'm, I didn't get the total numbers from Mammoth, but I suspect they were coming up on four and five feet of snow based on the bullseye I saw on the, on the model runs there. Here is Blue Canyon, and you can see it, the traveling's good, but it's cold, and so you've got icy roadways and not a lot of moving around. But Tahoe is busy today, and it will be busy right through the weekend monday's a holiday too and some kids i think some people have next week off okay uh satellite image we're gonna make this kind of quick now we're gonna go light because there's not a lot gonna go happen i should just summarize by saying hey the rain's done snow's done for a while we have a couple little tweaks this week and then the next big thing is way down the road so there's nothing really staring us down that last storm was awesome it was kind of a one and done did its work really raised hell in Southern California. As you know, I saw four or five inches of rain in some parts of the Southern California Hills area. So you probably saw some of that video. Um, here's a little comma coming through. That's gonna just kind of keep things cloudy around here, but a very weak, if anything, system. Clouds in the mountains still continuing to kind of, you know how we talked about um, conservation of angular momentum yesterday. Um, that's still, that still holds even when you don't have weak weather systems. It just, it just you know how we say mountains create their own weather? That's an example of how a mountain, they don't really create the weather, they just take existing weather and focus it, right? And so that's kind of what we got now. We do have a lot of snow in the Southern Sierra Nevada. Los Angeles, we'll visit down there. They're gonna be in the low, low 60s today, maybe some mid 60s. Bay Area will get that up into the upper 50s, maybe low 60s. And your Saturday is a beautiful one. Let's go right to the model, 500 millibar, um, vorticity. I like it. I like the colors, number one. <laughs> number two, like this is so cool. It's like a lava lamp, right? Check it out. It's so awesome. Oh my God, I'm just rolling through it, right? So I'm going to back up. We'll get serious now. But here is um, California. I'll have a loop around that. that. See that thing that's going up? That's a ridge, a ridge of high pressure. Let me get some coffee. And thanks for joining me today too. hate to be all business, but I watched one the other day and I was like, well, I kind of I, I kind of want to get to the weather first and then I'll go in the stuff at the end. We can look at some pictures, talk about some California stuff. But in the beginning, I think we I need to just hit weather. I, t let me know what you think about that. Um, OK, so here is that ridge. That's a pop up ridge. Mm. 
call that kind of a short wave ridge because it's, it's just small, right? You've seen big ridges, broad ridges, and you've seen these little short wave ridges. So that's a ridge that's gonna block, try to block that system. So here we go into Saturday afternoon. Little tweak, that's little tweak right there. That is Sunday morning, just a little something trying to go through to the north. Maybe Shasta gets a few snow showers. Uh, I don't think Crescent City or Point Arena, I think you guys are good. Maybe some drizzle, but I think overall it's, it's dry. So the weekend looks good for everybody. Again, that corner out by Burnley and Mount Shasta, you may see a few scattered showers, um, but nothing big. There's nothing, and then see that shortwave ridge pops right back up again. That tends to happen when a little trough goes through or a little disturbance. The ridge pops up. See how it got amplified? See how it went like that? That makes it easy to undercut. Okay, so look what's happening. Undercut, like pushing through. So you see like a river, a meandering river. And when that meander gets really thick, the river has a tendency to cut off. We just call it, they're called the oxbows when your river cuts off and leaves a piece. Well, this is kind of doing that. It's cut, this low here is going to cut under the ridge. And you go, how do you know that? We haven't pushed forward into the... Um, into the next couple hours. But I know that because that's fluid dynamics, basically. Watch, boom, see, it just cut through. So Ridge got two, got two popped up. This thing undercut. So on Wednesday afternoon, there's a chance. What does that look like to you? That looks to me like inside slider, cooler for the Bay Area. Yeah, maybe a few sprinkles, a cold storm, maybe even low snow levels in the mountains. Let's see kind of coming out of water yeah maybe low snow level so i think we could see a little blue canyon snow this would be kind of a three four inch event that is on wednesday into thursday morning and a little bit into thursday afternoon bay area uh coastal areas it's, it's just gonna be kind of an unsettled day it really is well let's get closer to that because i don't like that one feels weird to me um, but anyway, that's so we know what we what do we know? We know next few days are fine. And as we get to Wednesday, ooh, something's going to change. And that's a ways off. So let's see what that does. But we do know what we're referring to. It's this guy right here. And then what will happen is that ridge pops up again. See it? But it, now it angles off. That's that bow. And now we're cooking. Now we're looking for something big. And I think this guy, see kind of right there. This one had legs. That's the 26th of February. That's a little bit of rain. And then, yeah, so really... Hmm. Hmm. Models changed up from last night. So really not much going on. So here's a rainfall forecast, right? So we go, so right here, this is that, that's that little, that little short wave I showed you um, on the satellite kind of maybe, maybe drops a little bit of sprinkles, drizzle activity up around Point Arena, Cape Mendocino, Fort Bragg, Del Norte County, but I think very, just little like trace amounts, not a big event. And then we go through time and here we are into Monday. Here we are into Tuesday. This is that Wednesday thing we looked at, brief drive by, that will be drizzle, but that will be rain for you folks up in the Pacific Northwest. Southern California, you're out of it. Tahoe gets a couple inches of snow on Wednesday. That's the one we wanna keep our eyes on. Um, we'll see, that one could do, that, that, that could do some stuff and then it goes dry for a while. So what, what the, the takeaway there is, since we don't want to take the models at, we don't want to go out that far and then get married to the models. We want to just go, oh, that's what could happen based on climatology, based on other model runs, uh, based on a bunch of things. Um, and what we'll do is we'll wait till we get closer to that time and each day. But right now, there's no big, you know, bomb cyclones or atmospheric rivers or whatever you want to call it. There's none of that. So if people try to scare you this week, I don't think there's anything to scare you with. Maybe avalanche danger, but I don't, you know, there was that issue down in Mammoth. Um, it sounds like ski patrol was out cutting, um, cutting trail and tr trying to knock down avalanches. So unfortunately there is, there were some injuries, but uh, stay in bounds. This is steamer lane. Tide is a little bit lower. It's actually just hit high. This is at, uh, 11, 11.30 this morning. Bumpy, wobbly, but still fun. Um, ocean good. The, after big rain, so because of the San Lorenzo River, I'm a little leery of, um, I've been real sick from surfing, especially Ocean Beach. We used to surf it a lot right after storms because after storms, oftentimes you get the right winds. That looks fun. But um, the, there's a lot of stuff comes out of the rivers, right? So, you know, especially out of the Central Valley, all the, you know, pesticides and things. Um, this is... Is Newport Beach out by the jetties. Looks like they're doing some work on the jetties. Kind of an okay day. Beautiful sunshine. Low 60s, mid 60s. Malibu, um, first point, I think. I'm not real good at... I, I love Malibu, one of my favorite places to surf. 
but I don't know. You know what's a good book is um, King of Malibu. It's Malibu used to be a, a cattle a working ranch. I think it was a cattle ranch. And they owned all this land up until, and they had a huge, they owned that, the inside of the point. Um, I want to say it's, I should know this. Sorry, I can't do that. I can't search it either. But I think it was the Ringe family, which was owned the LA Times. But they slowly opened it up to movie stars. That's why Malibu is so awesome. Because they, they, in the 40s, 30s, 40s, and 50s, the movie stars, you know, because the movie industry started moving out there. And they lived in these little bungalow, these little nutty little artist shacks. Um, and they were not... I can't remember, I think the, the, the um, I can't remember the woman's name. Gosh, I should have looked at this. But they rented them out to these, these, these kind of bohemian movie star actor artists. And that's where the Malibu colony was a thing. That's why the name is so iconic, um, especially in the 60s and mainly in the 50s and 60s. It was like the spot to be for art being if you're an artist. We'll go into that someday as well. I didn't want to go too long. Okay, so here is uh, Golden Gate Bridge, no fog along the coast, a few clouds as we saw on the satellite image. And then we go looking at uh, Mount Shasta. And there you go, you got Mount Shasta shrouded in clouds and a little turbulent. Yeah, I could see some snow flurries coming out of that. And a beautiful day today. We're gonna kind of keep our eyes on Wednesday. That's the thing that looks like it's got a little bit of something going on. And let's let's look at that again tomorrow or the next day and see. But uh, right now, there's nothing. There's no big California event staring us down that I think can think of. Okay, there you go. Hope you have fun. If you are skiing, stay in bounds. If you are surfing, um, swells coming down, um, and it comes back up again though. It's going to drop down next couple of days, and then it pops back up to like eight to ten to ten to twelve. So it's not a, probably if you're a wave storm beginner surfer, maybe stay clear. I would, unless you got a, a good small spot like Bolinas or somewhere. Okay, so that's it. I'll see you back.